Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful cloudy day that I captured in our street. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Jeremiah 17 verse 11. It says, Like a partridge that hatches eggs she has not laid, so are those who will get their wealth by unjust means. At midlife, they will lose their riches. In the end, they will become poor old fools. Here's my poem. Wealth by unjust means. Those who get their wealth by unjust means are dishonest and are actually sinning. Like a partridge that hatches eggs she has not laid, they are actually stealing and will have to pay. At midlife, they will lose their riches. They will become poor and have no resources. Gaining wealth dishonestly will drag you to ruin. They will eventually suffer the consequences of their sins. Here's my essay. In my country of origin, graft and corruption is rampant. It was one of the reasons why I decided to migrate to Canada. I just had too much of it. Poverty does many things to people. When one is surrounded by so much dishonesty, it either makes you participate or totally turn away from the system. Struggling with being poor can become a lifestyle of striving. One can be de desperate and use measures that can quickly alleviate the deficiency they are experiencing. Survival mode becomes a lifestyle. Cheating to get easy wealth can be another option. These are all worldly ways that we cope with mediocrity. The Bible warns us not to get wealth by unjust means because we will eventually lose them. Prayer. Lord, help me never to lose my integrity. Reflection. Why is this honest ways to be rich discouraged in God's people? Because God doesn't want us to steal. Um, this one of his commands is, uh, thou shalt not steal. But also, um, in the New Testament, uh, it was all summed up in loving God and love others as you love yourself. So when you are being dishonest, you are not a loving person. You're not walking in love. So... I think this is the reason why God is discouraging us from um, getting quick, rich, getting rich quickly. Because when we get rich quickly, it can quickly disappear as well. Because uh, hard-earned money is what God rewards. Um, we um, He puts so much emphasis on work because work is important. It is good for our soul. It is good for us because it gives us integrity. It gives us a sense of confidence. It makes us um, believe in ourselves and believe in the Lord. And um, it does not try to entertain doing things um, illegally or unrighteously. Uh, it has nothing to do with legalism, but you know that even if nobody looks at you or watches you, God knows, because God knows everything. So there is nowhere you can hide about um, what you're doing, because whether you like it or not, whether you think somebody is looking at you or not, God is watching you all the time. So if you want to be wealthy, work hard to be wealthy. And God will reward you for, for the hard work that you put in um, gaining wealth. But also if you do it for your own um, gratification, it will not be good for you as well. Because God wants you to use all the resources that he's giving you so that you can share it to spread his kingdom and to tell others that it is him, not you, who owns all these things. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day and remember that God loves you so much and if you want to be wealthy, do it the hard way and um, slow, slowly because God doesn't want quick, uh, easy, quick, rich, quick, easily, you know. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.